welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Regal, the bearded dragon, are going to be doing a dragon Q&A for you guys. So I take your questions over on Instagram, and uh, let's try to answer a bunch of those. I'm KDCXOXS. If the weather is warm enough, can you take your beardy outside to bask in the natural sun? That is an absolutely amazing idea. Yes, you should. In fact, that's what I do with Regal. It is very hot here. It's 100 degrees right now, actually. Outside, not in here. <laughs> And I take him outside and he absolutely loves it. So if you have a safe place to take him, you can. Um, remember that younger dragons can run pretty quickly. Um, and just you, make sure that there's no other animals that can harm them. But taking him outside for some sun is definitely a good idea. I would stay with them the whole time to make sure that they're safe. Krista Evans, three, two, one, are bearded dragons picky eaters? Uh, so I have never really encountered that with my bearded dragons. I know a lot of people have because they say that, you know, the dragon won't um, eat salad or, you know, won't eat certain types of insects. I've never encountered that with mine. Um, they really like everything, but I think it's just constantly exposing them to new things because sometimes they're a little unwilling to try something new and you just have to keep working with them. Res Rep Patton 23. What? <laughs> what food can you feed a bearded dragon? Like what vegetables and fruit? So there's a lot of different things that you can feed your bearded dragon. I will link um, my uh, website blog so that you can see a list of safe fruits and vegetables. It's probably not even a whole list, but it's quite a few different things that I know for sure are safe. Um, that I've been able to confirm are safe, but they are able to eat tons of different stuff. So uh, check that link out. And also you can tune into my live streams when I'm making animal food and I make their salads and stuff like that. Pet tails, do they have to go to the vet on a regular basis? No, your bearded dragon does not have to go to the vet on a regular basis. Um, you just you know have to take them if they get sick. Females can sometimes have problems with egg laying, um, things like that. But if you take good care of your bearded dragon, they really shouldn't need to go to the vet. Sometimes things can happen that are out of your control and they might need to see a vet. But usually, um, problems that come up with them are related to care. So just take good care of them. Is it safe to own a bearded dragon around babies, young kids? Uh, I think that you can own them just to be careful around the kids and babies. Um, they can be dangerous to both the dragon and the baby because little kids tend to put their hands in their mouth a lot and if they touch the bearded dragon they can actually get salmonella or other um, harmful bacteria and put them in their mouth. And then they can harm the bearded dragon if they don't know how to pick them up. Olivia H. Davis, is it hard to clean up bearded dragon's fecal matter? Uh, no, it's not necessarily difficult to clean it up, but it can be a pain, especially since you keep them in such hot environments. If they poop under their basking spot and you don't get to it right away, um, you know, by the end of the day, it's like all hard and crusty and <laughs> smells bad. So it's not necessarily hard, but um, it's just, yeah, they're, they're, they are kind of messy when they poop. It's, it's a little gross. Margarissa, are there different kinds of bearded dragons? If so, what is your favorite kind? Um, yes, there are actually uh, different species of bearded dragons. Uh, for the most part, this is the only species that's available in the pet trade. Um, I've never even really seen the other types in person. There's now different types that are the same species, but they're like different morphs and stuff. Uh, there's some that uh, don't have as many, you know, thorny stuff as Regal does. There's some that have completely smooth skin. Uh, he wants to chase Barry. Regal, behave, please. You're gonna, okay, sit, sit there, sit there. Be a good dragon, okay? And the, the one, the leatherbacks are the ones that are completely smooth. I don't like those. They look so sickly to me. Really, I just like a normal bearded dragon like Regal. He is supposed to be like, um, high yellow or something. I don't know. I don't really care. I just picked him out because I felt like we had a connection. Um, so I'm not really too particular. Uh, I think the ones that are orange look very cool. Sophie uh, K-H-O-F, 
What are the benefits to bearded dragon burmation? Why do they do it? Is it natural for dragons to do this in the wild? Okay, so yes, um, bearded dragons in the wild burmate, and it's kind of like hibernation. Basically, they slow down a lot and sleep most of the time, so their metabolic rate uh, decreases and all of that. It's beneficial to them because during those times, it's cold and there's less food available. So it helps them save energy and survive through winter. However, you don't want your bearded dragon doing that in captivity. It's not something that they should really do in captivity. And if you're keeping them under the right conditions, they shouldn't be doing it. And that's because things like Burmation are for survival. So, you know, it takes out of their energy, it takes out of their body. So you want them to just um, keep eating and everything all year long because uh, they're a captive species and then that way it increases their life expectancy and all of that. But yes, Burmation is totally normal in the wild. Pony Pig 33, what is the best diet for a bearded dragon and what is the minimum tank size? So the best diet depends on the age of the bearded dragon. Younger bearded dragons is gonna be mostly insects with some salad. Older bearded dragons is gonna be mostly salad with some insects. The minimum size tank for a bearded dragon is 40 gallons. Anything bigger is always better to provide them with. KM from uh, SC, how long does it take a bearded dragon to reach full size? It takes about a year for them to reach full size. They actually grow very quickly. I'll try to insert some photos with dates of uh, Regal and uh, him him growing because yeah he grew really quick. Jordan's pet's life, how long do they live? This is something that's a little hard to answer because I've seen so many different answers to it. I've seen something as little as like six years. I've seen something as far up as 25 years and, and that's a pretty big uh, difference. So it seems to me like it's a little unclear right now how long they do live for. Um, I guess because not that many get very good care. But I think something kind of more in the middle is probably going to be more realistic, like about 12 years. Uh, to me, that's what I've seen to be somewhat more consistent from care guides. But um, I feel like I can't really answer that right now because like I can't even find a good enough answer. Potter's foot, should you supplement your dragon with D3 and UVV? Absolutely, it is a care requirement. Um, it's, you have to do it. If you have a bearded dragon, you have to have a UVV light. This uh, imitates sunlight. Without it, they will get very sick. Um, they have to have calcium with D3. Uh, again, without it, they'll get very sick. And that's usually where most health problems come from with bearded dragons. Which leads me to the next question. Uh, what are the lights you need for them? So for bearded dragons, sit still, please. Ugh, you're stuck, okay. For bearded dragons, they need a UVV light and they need a basking light, a heat light. So depending on the temperatures of your house, you may also need heat during the night. Um, but during the day, they need a basking spot of 100 degrees and then they also need their UV lights. So you need at least two lights for them. Amelia1278, do you feed your bearded dragon worms? What type? I feed usually hornworms and sometimes mealworms, but obviously I feed mostly crickets. Um, okay, so uh, you can feed them all kinds of things. Uh, yes, hornworms are great. I also feed superworms, waxworms. Um, what's it called? Calcium worms. They can also have things like earthworms. Um, in fact, here at the farm, I get the June beetles uh, when they're larvae and feed them to them. It's so gross and he likes it so much. They're like seriously the nastiest looking <laughs> bugs. Um, but be careful with wild caught. I'm able to do that here on the farm because I know the environment that we're in. Um, but just try to stick with store-bought if you live in a residential area. Basically any type of worm that's available in the pet store, you can feed them. That just happened one. What do I do if my bearded dragon gets a stuck shed? Uh, so basically if they get shed stuck on them, you can give them a bath. I have uh, videos about it. Sometimes I also live stream his baths. Um, but yes, just put them in warm water. It should be very warm to the touch and that will help their shed come off. I, Becker 21 nobody has been able to answer this question, but I figured you could because you're really good with animals. What diseases, parasites are they prone to? So bearded dragons can get the reptile mites that all the other reptiles you know, can also get. So you have to be very careful with that. 
That's why you always quarantine new reptiles. You don't take your reptiles out to reptile expos, things like that. They have to pick it up somewhere. So if you get a bearded dragon and you know that it's clean, just don't expose it to anything. Diseases that they can get, they can get metabolic bone disease that comes from not providing them with calcium, UVB lights, all of that. They can also get issues in their glands. Honestly, most of the health issues with bearded dragons are care related. There are some that are not, but for the most part, most bearded dragons get sick because they're not taken care of properly. There is also issues with being egg bound in females and that's sometimes something you just can't help. It is hard to have female reptiles, especially you know the ones that lay even without being bred. Days one's gray. Can two bearded dragons be housed together? No, um, bearded dragons aren't social animals. Um, you really shouldn't house two together. The only time two should be together is for breeding. Um, bearded dragons are territorial, they're not social. Uh, they can harm each other pretty bad, especially if there's a size difference. So uh, it should only be one bearded dragon per enclosure. Peppermint cutie. I would love a bearded dragon, but I don't like the idea of keeping live bugs in my apartment in case they get out. Do the insects have to be live? Yes, the insects do have to be live. If you cannot feed live insects, you can't have a bearded dragon. So unfortunately, this wouldn't be the right pet for you. If you are set on getting a reptile, other ones you could consider are uh, turtles, tortoises, and snakes, um, since they don't have to be fed live insects. Logan Nicole Swan, I think that's what it says. How big do they get? Okay, so um, about two feet is what they can reach. Regal here is a large bearded dragon. And I think he's with his tail a little bit over two feet. He's pretty big. Um, some aren't that big, some are a little bit smaller, but on average they're about two feet in length. Aaliyah Soccer S, do they often bite? Bearded dragons usually don't bite. In fact, that's what makes them such good pets is that for the most part, they're very docile animals that are just pretty cool to hang out with. Their behavior is pretty nice. They have a, a pretty good personality to them in general, but there's a few that, you know, don't follow that standard. Um, my husband's bearded dragon does actually bite, uh, but that's not the norm. Um, for the most part, they're pretty calm. If you get an adult, you'll be able to tell what its personality is, and from there, you should know if it's going to be biting or not. But you can usually find an adult that's going to be real calm, gentle, and nice to hang out with. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Regal uh, arguing with me about how he wants to run around on the floor. Thank you guys so much for submitting your questions. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!